Hey guys, welcome back to a brand new video. Right now we're at the junkyard with my brother. You can see on the other side taking out the door panel. We're not taking the door panels because his interiors. You know I got the door panel. I already showed you I got the door panel. I'm just getting the motor and all this, all this right here that I need, all these buttons and all. We're well, not button switches, but yeah, that's what I'm gonna get right now. And after this, I'll probably head home and see if I can start doing it. If not, I'll just figure out a day that I can do it all. But yeah, I'm gonna take all this off. Just take the door panel off. Let me tell you right here. Look. Right here in the back. Oh, shit. Mm -hmm. But yeah, that's what I'm doing right now. Well, here you go, guys. I got the regulator out. Or, like I call it, the motor out from both sides. And here are the wires for it. Like I said, I'm probably going to run it and do it like my like my seats when I did it. When I did power and ground. That's probably what I'm going to do. I'm probably run it up to my battery or something. I don't know yet, but yeah. Finally got the piece to it, and we're about to have power windows sooner or later. So the weather's kind of sh about to get shitty. I don't know if it's about to start raining or not, but we are taking off door panels off my truck right now. The only thing you gotta do is just take these two little screws and this one right here. They're right here. It's a 10, 10 millimeter. And I take off all my speakers. Like I said, I gotta figure out. So I got to pull all that out, or just cancel all them out except one. Keep one of them. And right here, this little knob right here has it's this little thing right here. It has a little clip right here. You just push it out. Like, make sure it's like this. Look, like this. Push on, push on the door panel, and then it'll just click it out with um a screwdriver, flathead, and it should come right out. And that's all you really do for this one. And you just clip it out all around, and this right here just comes out like like so this one doesn't matter because like i said that brand new one's right there so yeah you just gotta take this out take that one out and figure out how i'm gonna run the wires and all that and the door windows to work well i know how to work i already i already got them to work i just gotta figure out how i'm gonna do all the wiring after this well the whole damn door panel came off and behind my door panel had all this I guess this is for in case it caught on fire, but I pulled it all out. And you see, it was fucking hard. I'm, I cut myself best in this. Yeah, well, I cut myself a lot of places, but found the bolts finally. You see, one, two, three, four, and the fifth one right here. So I'm gonna get my brother to hold up the mirror. I'll probably record it. Let him let him hold the mirror up, pull that out, and put the new one in, and bolt it all in, and let it go. So the same side, same thing as the other side. You see, it's that little cable that I told you, the little wire piece that goes in here. We took it off. We just got the, well, basically this is power and ground. So, you see there's power and ground here on this. I don't know if you can see it, but now if I put it up, I'm going to just connect the ground to the ground and the power to the power. And it should go up. You want to And now you know that it works. That we both, we know both sides work now. So, we have to find a way to make my switches that go here on my door panel. Where the hell that switch is that? Which switch is it? Um, oh, there's my panel, my door panel. We gotta make sure this switch works. So whenever we put the window down, it can go down, but with this switch. And then we also gotta run wire from this side to the other side of the truck. So whenever we put the, win the window down, or we wanna put either both of them down when I'm just riding down by myself, we can use these two, but I have to figure out how to do that now. We got the first step done, and we installed. We, we got everything. Basically, the main part we needed to get installed right now, the motors and the wires, and found out that the, the motors do work. So now we just gotta find a way to wire everything together, and find a way to make these work. And after that, door panel on. And we should be straight. We ran into an issue, guys. We figured out how to wire everything up, like properly. And we've wired my doors and, well, this door and the other door so many times in different ways, like in every YouTube video, and nothing works. So I did my research and saw one specific video that says that these won't work. Why? Because these all GM vehicles make, um, GM made all their switches differently and all wired differently. So. I'm guessing I'm gonna have to get from uh, switches from extended cab. Just this, not the whole like wood grain stuff. Cause I'm gonna keep this. I just don't need this. 
and I don't need this whole bulk right here. So I'm gonna get the switches from an extended cab, which only comes with like five wires, basically only these right here. This is all I need. I don't need none of that. But for some reason, because I don't need I don't need any of these wires except the yellow one and the yellow one, this tan one, and this light blue one off this side. But on an extended cab or a single cab, it would have them on this exact same plug-in with this yellow one here. And so basically none of this matters. And I've plugged it in how they said, but I guess, cause like I said, GM has plugged, like all their switches are completely different. Cause like I said, this one has all the extra functions and stuff. And you see this one also has it. And so I'm probably just gonna do that. Um, get the extended cab switches. I'm gonna go get them now. And ended up, end up winding how they should be. And hopefully it works. And if it works, then hooray, and I'm happy. But if not, then I'm just gonna have to figure some shit out. Cause this is starting to irritate me cause I've wired them up so long, so much, so many ways and I'm ready to work. I mean, I'm ready for them to work and I mean, y'all saw these these um, motors work, so it's not the motors, it has to be the switches and all those wires. Like I said, GM just decided to do that. So, like I said, just gotta go get standard cap switches and come check them out, see how they work. And if they do in the working, well, voila, running on my wire. I also gotta get this brand new little wire thing because this is not gonna work. This is too short. My door, new handle, door handle is gonna be up here. As you can tell right here, door handle is like all the way up on this side. Let, let me see, let me show you so y'all can see because some of y'all might not know what I'm talking about. Look, get this door panel and the old door panel. You see, those are opposite sides, but look, you see how that one is down there and this one's all the way over here. Ain't no way this little wire right there is gonna reach all the way up here. So I'll probably have to get the longer longer little um latch so i have to go back to the junker anyways to get that and the other switches it's, oh yeah that's all i'm gonna do yeah oh and the little speaker thing so so basically two of those two of those that's four two of the other things six things i'm gonna go back something something simple you know nothing too difficult to take out but yeah let's go 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 back to go get and we should be straight after that hopefully hopefully well guys you see right here i already replaced my latch you only have to replace the latch if you're gonna get the ltd door panels if you're just gonna go from those those roller ones to the power window ones then you wouldn't need that because yours is gonna stay just down here but mine have to be out here so that's the only reason i'm changing it it's easy to change just three little screws and just unplug it from there and it's good but yeah i'm done with this i'm gonna do the other side now and yeah came back from our junkyard trip and we found the brackets we needed i just kind of did what i could so i don't want to have to get adapters whatever it is to get you to do when you get aftermarket speakers this is the oem bracket and i just made it somehow fit and i'm just gonna put the, the four screws all around same with this one and then i'm gonna run the new wire well i already run the wire from that side of the door to this side you see it's over here He's waiting. He's waiting for the the, the switches to get here, but the eight, the Amazon guy hasn't even got here yet. So waiting for him to get here. But the bracket's on. After everything's done, I will see if it works. Hopefully, it works. If it does, well, I'm just gonna wire everything right and good and tighten everything up and put. Oh wait, I'm talking about Amazon guy. Oh, oh. Why are you leaving? Caught him on camera. Let's go see if we get our switches. We got them, guys. Ah. Well, I guess we're not waiting no more. We're gonna try them out and see if they work. End up working. Hopefully they do. And after that, put the panels on. Now, guys, that I have everything put in and I've got the wire switches up there, I decided to wire everything up. Just this side, not that side. You see, everything's everywhere. But I just did it just to see if it actually worked. And it does, look, it does. For both sides, it does, look. But I'm gonna show you right now how to wire everything up. 
as you can tell right here and your motor it has a brown and blue wire and on this switch you're gonna have a blue and brown wire see so these are go together the power and power are gonna go but i ran my power all through here all right to there so it can go to the battery and then this yellow one you're gonna need this yellow one also right here so you gotta run another wire but that's gonna be for whenever you gotta connect this to a fuse or a fuse that turns on and off so your shit won't be on and your battery won't drain and then right here also on the same switch you're gonna have a brown and a blue wire those are for that control so that could control this side whenever you're just riding by yourself you know and the, the ground is right here you can just connect it here and that's what i did so yeah it's basically only five wires and once you get over here let me go to the other side show you show you the proof that it does work once i be like that man lying look everything connected you see this side you can probably look at better brown brown blue blue um power and power well what is the one that i told you that you need to connect to a fuse that turns off and on and then the ground right here and then down here you have the brown and blue wire connected from that side to here and then look the switches the switch right here other side I know y'all gonna be like, why did you get all this? But I needed a this this same same thing, cause you know my little one right here, this wood grain one, come with all four, and I don't want to look dumb, you know. But yeah, that's what I got, and so now I'm gonna wire everything up, put everything up, and put the door panels on, and I'm gonna show you how to run the wire to here for the fuse. And so I just came back from Auto Parts, and I bought this little tool. Well, not tool, um, the little adapter or holder that I told y'all y'all would need for y'all's fuse. Like I told y'all, connected it here, ran my black wire here, my power right there to my battery, to my other battery. And look, while it's off, while my truck is off, look, my truck is off, the keys are right here. Doesn't work for either side, but once I turn my key on, I'm gonna switch on. It works. But now I'm about to get to doing this so my buttons can work and my buttons can fit through here. So yeah, I'm about to do that right now. Got everything ran through and done. So I hope this is helping you out so far. And I'm about to do my doors, my not my doors, my switches. So right here, what I'm doing is I'm cutting through the plastic pieces so I can try to make sure, so I can make that go underneath. And I'm using this tool that Gilmore let me borrow. So shout out to Gilmore for letting me use all his, all his tools. 24-7 tool, tool supply. But yeah, I'm going to do that. And hopefully I can get it to work and stay still here. So I won't have to... Um, cause I'm trying to keep this right here. Even though if it's not going to be reusable, I still want it to be up there so it can look OEM. And it'll look good with the wood grain, you know? So that's what I'm going to do. And then I'm going to do the other side. The other side was going to be a little bit harder because it has all those switches. But... That's why we start with the, the easy part first, and then we'll go to the hard part. But yeah, I'll let you know how it goes, and after, and see how it looks. Well, everything came out like I wanted it to. Like I told you, all this wasn't gonna work, but this does work. And it stays still, it's in place. Like I told you, I cut it, and you see right here, kind of flooded right there, but nobody's gonna notice that. Um, Yeah, so yeah, I cut that, and um, I put a screw underneath, on that side and this side so it won't come down and i tested it out a lot so it wouldn't come out but yeah that's how it is right now i just gotta do the driver's side and we'll be done well guys here is the end result you see they ended up working i found my way to do it yes i am gonna replace this soon because you see how close it looks kind of beat up and the chrome is peeling off the other side is done full interior ltz I am going to get a sunroof after I get my body work done. And like I said, what do you got to do? Run wire to one fuse, a power, two two wires from that side to this side, pat your ground on each door, and literally all you got to do, man, only four, five, five or six wires. And one last time, see, so I don't think I'm capping, capping on y'all. Full operational windows down up and up again well guys i hope the video helps a lot of y'all out and like i said 
This is the LTZ conversion. If you're not doing the LTZ door panels, you will not need to change your latches. And if you are doing it, you will need to. And like me, the only reason I did it is because my whole interior is LTZ. Um, after this, I'm getting the sunroof after I get my body work done and all my dents out and all that. So hopefully, so hopefully soon, y'all will see my sunroof installed. I don't have it yet. I still got to go buy one or find one at the junkyard. Y'all know me. Um, but yeah, I hope y'all like the video and I hope it helps a lot of y'all out if you're trying to do a conversion, like I said. So like, comment, subscribe, and peace.